are now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. I'll lock up the... Here they come! Don't mess with us. One piece? was fun! All in the wrist.
Captain, look out! Here what about the you Everyone all right? Hail, Captain. Your return time is... arrived at the groundbreaker. Stay safe up. If you're here for this week's magazine club meeting, you're a touch late. I found a handsome ceramic manda pillar at a salvage auction last week. Oh, is it hot in here? Or is it just my glands acting up again? Straight to the point, eh? All right then, on you go. That's right, dearie. The only independent station in the colony. That's us. Though for how long, I can't say. That all depends on Miss June Lay. The board can't abide a community that won't bend to its will. They've always got one scheme or another running, looking for ways to bring us to heel. Like this heat business. Shameful. But it won't work. No, ma'am. Groundbreaker's free till the day she dies, law willing. 
Chief Jun Lei Tennyson. Used to be she was chief engineer before her mama passed, and she took the helm. She's neck deep in the ship guts by day, slap fighting with the board by night. Hold on. You already met her. What are you asking me about her for? Bit straight-laced for my tastes, but that's just her nature. She's fierce, too. A fighter. And between you and me, I think the fight's starting to wear on her. This heat problem we've got's gone unfixed for weeks. Can't say I know what the holdup is, but I'm sure she's trying her best. Go right ahead, sweetheart. Ask the common folk, and they'll tell you it's on account of all the monsters on Monarch desperate to gobble you up. Because that's what the board tells them, you see. I think they made some fool mistake that would make them look bad to the rest of the colony, and they're trying to hide the evidence. Those board folk are real prideful-like. Never want you looking behind the curtain, lest you see their derrieres. But old Gladys knows the score. The whole colony's not much more than a diorama, showcasing one board screw-up after another. That's why we gotta keep them from getting their grubby mitts on Groundbreaker. She's our mess. Probably. Every once in a while, we get these snippets of radio chatter. Edna shows them to me. Some man hooting and hollering about the light in us all. Claims he's transmitting from Monarch, but who knows if that's true. Might be true. Might be some new trick from the board. Groundbreakers radiators. Been neither fine nor dandy for weeks now. Miss Junley's supposed to be getting them fixed, but the board's determined to get in her way. The board can't abide a community that won't bend to its will. They've always got one scheme or another running, looking for ways to bring us to heel. Like this heat business. Shameful. But it won't work. No, ma'am. Groundbreaker's free till the day she dies, law willing. Oh, a little of this, a little of that. I buy and sell items that require discretion to dispose of. Knickknacks. Curios. I also knit throw pillows stuffed with the hair of famous tossball players. But that's more of a passion project. Please tell me you're not the reason Black Hole Birdie shaved his head in the last pennant match. Well, Mr. Holcomb did win his pennant, didn't he? But that's not what you wanted to talk about, is it, dear? Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Would you kindly inform the crew that Mount now arriving at Phineas's top secret orbital lab? <clears throat> Hello, can you hear me? Does this work? Oh, damn it, blast that's loud. I'm just securing my ongoing experiments. And securing myself. Mind the mess. Uh, I haven't had a visitor since... Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. Not at all my interest. 
intrepid accomplice. I should thank you for tolerating my somewhat brusque manner. I only regret that I couldn't save more of your fellow settlers, what with being hunted by the board and emptying my supply of necessary chemicals. Of course. What's on your mind? Never know what being frozen did to your brain. There's always a chance you might turn violent. I've no desire to end up like Thompson. Regardless, it's quite comfortable in here, you know. I have my beans, have my caffeinoids, plenty of toilet paper. We've arrived at the Groundbreaker. I'm sorry, am I causing a scene? See him, Furrow? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. What seems to be the problem? If only my other patients had so many inquiring after them. I'll tell you what I've told the others. The records say Ms. Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no visitors. The requests of our patients are paramount, so no, you may not see her. Yes, and we're grateful for the help. I'll let you in, 
but please do respect Miss Doyle's privacy. I'm afraid that area is quarantined for the safety of Groundbreaker. Why do you ask? I'll use my speediest wrench, promise. That's very conscientious of you. Thank you. Very well, you may enter. But please don't linger. I prefer to keep the dangerous pathogens corralled where I can see them. Arion came through with his delivery. Keep hanging around and I'll begin to think you're here for me. What can I do for you? Not sure why you'd want to, given the biohazard signs. Luckily, we don't actually have any chemical agents or play going on in there. Not right now, at least. Well, you did help me out. Sure, go ahead. Just don't do anything unsavory. Pardon me. Wish they'd let us off station. Air up here is just recycled space parts. You ever wonder if maybe folks keep doors closed for a reason? To the last ratchet on rotten time! Leave me in peace! You whole-headed quacks do know that restful recuperation requires not being disturbed, don't you? What? Why? Everything's fine. We're all fine here. No need for her to be worrying her pretty little head about me. I'm just terrible, dreadful sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. Highly, lethally contagious. But I'll be fine, so long as I'm left alone. Criminy. She really ain't gonna drop this, is she? All right, okay. We can discuss this like the level-headed folk that we are. Seems I've gotta do something before Ellie goes jabbering my business to anyone with one ear and an intent to listen. The truth is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? See, I owe them. A lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So, I hold up here to lay low. What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of this ship, I swear. Think? No. I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one, assuming you want to keep breathing. All right, I'll fess this part up too, if it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. I specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the Blood Tear Diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. If I had, you think I'd be hiding out in the med bay? I was gonna steal it, lined up Udom as my buyer. He paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to stardust in my palm. Anywho, I barely made it out with my life and nary a plan to make back Udom's deposit I'd spent. Udom Bedford's the board guy on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 